this week on Archer's Choice. This week's Archer's Choice. It was my turn. No, it's not. You do, last you do it all the time. Oh, this, this week, week we're heading we're up to Adrenaline Outfitters, Manitoba. Yes. <laughs> and this week's lucky logo is Rocky. Get rocktified with Rocky gear. Yeah, I love it. Nice. So I'll watch for the Rocky logo and we'll tell you what to do with that at the end of the show. Do now, you guys feel my pain? <laughs> we're going to head up to Manitoba with Russ and the guys from Adrenaline Outfitters. Yep. Gary and Bucky go up there yep. and they have a great hunt, but we don't want to spoil it. No, and we don't spoil so it. So can I finish this or you, do you want to? No, go ahead. Who go ahead. I'll get the last word. So let's go see what happens because they run into a unique situation. They see a sow with four cubs. Four cubs. He's giving That's it away. Just sitting here in the airport waiting for my flight to show up. Uh, Going to be heading up to Adrenaline Outfitters up in the Manitoba. Uh, actually just got off the phone just a little bit ago with Russ and they had a great week last week. Went five for six and with the weather being the way it is it should be a great week. So we're going to be bearing down in Manitoba. Well, I made it to the airport just on time, barely on time. I got 20 minutes here before our flight leaves. I had, my neighbor had a birthday party, very first birthday party, so I had to make that. And I had to get a haircut with the wife. But I am here at the airport, ready to meet Gary in Minneapolis here in about two hours. So I'm gonna jump on the plane and I will be seeing you in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, St. Paul, heading towards Winnipeg for a drilling outfitters. Cannot wait. Our flight, we just was told, was on time. We're ready to rock and roll any minute now. We go through customs, head over to the hotel, good night's rest, meet up with Russ and the crew tomorrow, bear down at Manitoba. Well, it's the first night of the hunt, and uh, I got talking to Bucky about which one of us is going to go first, and he said he'd already flipped a coin about two months ago and decided that he wanted me to go first, so I graciously accepted. It wasn't about 20 minutes later that we had a nice bear come in, and uh, as he was coming in, we thought, well, we're going to wait till he gets down to the barrel so we can size him up real good, and uh, that was probably the wrong idea because, uh, like I said, that wind was just swirling around and dropped right down to the bait, got one whiff of us, raised his head, turned and was gone. I think we're going to check in here for the next couple minutes, and if, if we don't get a good wind, I think we're going to back on out of here. No, no, it's just like white tails. We don't want to blow a good spot, so. Our wind's perfect. Uh, this is our third set, the first two sets. We saw multiple bears, so we're excited about that. Uh, we were in here last night. Uh, saw some good bears, uh, kind of misjudged one, but uh, if he comes back today, he's going to be in trouble. So here come Mama Bear with her four little cubs. And I mean, they were, they were this year's cubs. It's the first time I've seen them th that small. Uh, they come in, played around with the bait a little bit, got their, their meal there at McDonald's. It was one of the neatest things I've ever seen in the woods. That's what it's here for. 
and off they go. This big old bear, he come in, uh, came down towards the bait and uh, got next to the barrel and, and offered me a broadside shot and I had drawn back. And as, as I was setting the pin, he just laid down. He stayed there for, for, for quite a while and he finally got up. He didn't offer a shot and as he started walking away, uh, there at the last second, he turned and gave me a good quarter and away shot. I have no shot. There's no shot here for me. He went about 40 yards, piled up, and then the celebration began. <laughs> That's been the biggest bird I've ever seen in my life. That is the biggest bear I've ever seen. <laughs> and he's down right there. Oh, man. Waited, had a good quarter and away shot. Just drilled him with it. And uh, what we're gonna do is, Bucky brought his bow in too. This is a good stand to double out of. So uh, I'm gonna get behind the camera. Bucky, do you wanna sit here for a while? I think I might. <laughs> We're going to see if we can get two tonight, so thanks, buddy. Congratulations, dude. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. We got a bear 20 yards behind us. Gary just shot a bruiser, and so we decided to switch up. We both brought our bows. And as we're getting ready, a bear's coming in right here. Look at the size of this bear. The head on him is just huge. This is only my second bear. Uh, they're definitely spoiling me here. Uh, Rod, Joel, Russ, man, I can't thank you guys more. Ralph and Vic, thanks for sending me and Bucky up here. Uh, this is the biggest bear I've ever shot, and he's gonna be hard to beat. Um, we had a great night last night. We had a sow with four little cubs that came in early. Uh, after they left about 20 minutes later, this big old brute came in came in behind us, walked down into the bait, stayed around for a while, and then on his way out, he stopped and gave me a good quarter and away shot. Looks like the, the entrance is a little bit far back, but that's what you want on that angle. Came out right on the far shoulder, took liver and lungs on the way. Beautiful bear, beautiful place to come hunting. That Smooth. was a wow. huge bear. That is what you call the no-brainer bear. That's a no-brainer. I would love to have another no-brainer come in front of me. It's been a I, I think I'd much rather have one come in front of me. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Well, Gary, congratulations. Now Go. it's Bucky's turn. Yep. And it's called a game of patience and waiting. Typical at a, you know, at a bait site. Bears that's come right. in, they leave, they come in, they leave, they come. That's that's why we call it hunting.
everyone in camp is tagged out. I should be tagged out. I passed out, passed on some pretty good pairs earlier in the week. Um, tonight's a different story. There's a good six foot, six foot six pair in this area. And uh, that's the floor that we're after. He came in here Monday night for another client and he couldn't get a shot. He just came in and left and, and never gave him a shot. But it's been raining all day. The sun's popping out now. We got blue skies. So our hope is, is that today will be fantastic. We're keeping our fingers crossed down to the wire. We just had a big boar come in. He snuck in on us like we feared would happen. Um, he just came in, didn't eat, didn't do nothing. Just got a little suspicious and moved on out. He just feel a little uneasy. Um, we'll sit tight, be quiet, and uh, hopefully he'll come back. I don't know, probably 6.30 or 7 o'clock, I look an, over to my right down this trail, probably one of the few areas that I can actually see 50 yards at, and I see what looks like a shadow that's kind of moving. I pulled the binoculars up and I can tell immediately it's a black bear. And eventually the bear came down towards us and I can immediately tell it was the same bear that came in two hours prior to this. The only difference was this time we were ready for him. The bow was in my hand, the camera was already rolling, Right as he's getting to the far left side, I get the okay from Gary and we release. And we can immediately tell it was a beautiful shot. The bear didn't go 30, 35 yards and piled up. <laughs> we did it, baby. We done it, Gary. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm tore up. I'm flat tore up. That's a nice bear. That's a good bear. What a blessing. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Adrenaline Outfitters. I've been on several bear hunts and there's no doubt in my mind this has been the most fantastic trip of my life. Well, we shot the bear, made a good shot on him. We knew we made a good shot on him. Heard the death moan the whole nine yards. So we got down from the stand, went to the road, put a flag in. Joel came up, helped us find him. He was 30, probably 30 yards tops back in the woods here. Joel, uh, Joel's going back to get the wagon for the back of the four there to haul him out of here. So I want to show you this bear because he's a good boar. Here he is. We'll talk about waiting to the last minute. The fifth day of a five day hunt. And here we got a beautiful boar. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say he's probably 6'2", 6'3", somewhere in there. He's got, I don't know, an 18 inch skull thereabouts on him. Just a beautiful boar um, for a first day, let alone the last day. So Gary and I, who's behind the camera, we're just tickled pink about this. Um, it just finishes off just a wonderful week. It's just been phenomenal. Everyone's been go-getters, good attitudes. Then you got Russ and Joel and Rod the owners of Adrenaline. You just can't beat the people that we've had this week. And this is just the icing on a cake of a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm going back home to Kansas City, one tickled hunter. The thing that you want to remember, especially on a bear, is if you think it's in the back and you've heard us say it before, when in doubt, get out, especially on this bear. Oh. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of there as quietly as possible, give it the night, go back the next day, and you should, if you didn't push him that night that you shot him, you should recover him within the second bed that he'll lay down. Yes. You will see that he'll go somewhere where it's cooler, more damp. He's gonna try getting that fever down. He's gonna start grabbing the moss, start packing up his, his wound, and you should find him on that second bed if you do not push him that first night.
go Welcome ahead. back to the Archer's Choice. And there Bucky, you go. way you to go. Yeah. It was your turn. I let you go. Uh, uh. Congratulations, Bucky. Now we're going to head into Russ. Yes. <laughs> and he has one opportunity. It's in the middle of changeover days. You know what's funny is Russ, you know, he always wanted to be an outfitter. Yeah. And now, now he's he starting no to see to that being an outfitter, <laughs> he don't have any time to hunt. Poor Russ. But when he does get the opportunity, that boy can seal the That's deal. That's right. Check this one out. So it's changeover day on the hunters. Russ actually gets the opportunity to go sit in a tree stand and see what happens. He gets in the stand and this beautiful chocolate sow comes in. And she's hot, not because she's chocolate, but because she's in heat. And he knows that only good things can happen the rest of the evening with her on the bait site. Now there's a cub on the bait site and that chocolate sow had walked away and she comes back in to the bait to see what's going on. And just a little while later, what happens? Big old boar comes in to check out that hot chocolate sow. And of course, it's the opportunity Russ is waiting for. I'm going to do a morning recovery because I got 20 minutes daylight left. So anyways, I'm going to uh, get down and see what happens. We'll get out here and come back first thing in the morning. What a night. We had a beautiful, cold, clear night, so uh, leaving this guy was no problem. I don't think he went more than 60, 70 yards from the bait. Uh, Spitfire did an awesome job on him, and I couldn't be happier right now. This is Manitoba bear hunting at its best. It's uh, late spring, the rut's on, a sow came into the bait, and you never know what's going to happen. Uh, there was a big boar with her, and uh, he didn't come back in with her, but uh, as soon as she was on the bait, it took seven to ten minutes, and this guy came in right behind her. So uh, a little bit lucky, a little bit just being in the right place at the right time, and I'll take that any day. Russ, you guys did great. I mean, they, they reviewed the footage and they realized, you know, when in doubt, get out. They went back the next morning. That bear didn't go 60 yards, so good job. 60, 70 yards, he was yep. down. Spitfire's baby. Very cool. Hey, if you happen to see the Rocky Lucky logo this week. You are going to get rocktified. <laughs> you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, and fill out some information, and someone's going to get some great stuff from Rocky, plus a bunch of other manufacturers. And also, and also if you all want to follow us. Y'all. Y'all. Okay. Hey, you can check us out on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Next see what we're show. doing, see how we're getting along, because that's not oh, really no. Yeah, right. you never know what he's going to ramble off on there. Okay, next week's show, Winterhawk Outfitters, yes. Colorado. Chet and Elf. Tony, high elevation, sucking air, baby, and they're <laughs> doing a good job. We want to thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.